Hello fans! I'm about to start a journey in Path of Exile because they have just received a ridiculous update. And I've been waiting for an excuse to play this game for quite a while. The first thing I notice is that the character selection screen is not on a ship anymore. And they don't have that jailer guy explaining that hey, you're here because you're exiles even though you already went through the trial and blah blah blah. Well, let's start something new with this new world. I play hardcore. I played several hardcore witches in particular. Most of them have died horribly, of course. So let's not break with that tradition. Let's go with a game type that I'm completely unfamiliar with in a world that I'm mostly unfamiliar with. It seems like a good start for this, don't you think? Why do the keen of mind seek to satiate their curiosity in darkness and depravity? Innocence is our father. Ariat is our mother. When a daughter strays from the light, she makes herself an orphan. Learn well the lessons that Ray class will teach you, witch. It is your only hope of finding your way home. So that's something else that's changed. Instead of the characters pleading their case, and in most cases it's not very convincing, especially the witch. She's like, okay, so I did kill their children, but they burned down my home first. I, I kind of like this method, although both of them definitely have their charms. Yeah, I, I know hardcore characters really are hardcore. They probably put that in after lots of people complained that they died because of lag and could you please restore my character. Oh, hello. I don't think criminals are the worst of your worries, sir. Right. Well then, the game has given you kind of a hint on how things work. And I'm really glad that the first weapon has two slots of the appropriate stat instead of just one of each color. Oh, one... I hesitate to call it an advantage, but... But it's a nice perk for gameplay, uh, on YouTube anyway, is that because I chose this sort of unique game type, I won't benefit from the gear left behind by my other, uh, killed characters. Well, I have not decided... Oh wow, that looks ridiculous. I have not decided what kind of build I'm going to go with just yet. I've played builds concentrating on fire, ice, lightning, the basic stuff. I've also tried a Minion Master build. That was slightly boring. Well, I should never have gotten that close. Oh, I have taken damage, do tell. This series, at least I hope it's going to be a series, will concentrate on the adventuring life of this particular character. Oh, hey. That's new. Also, I like the way they changed the mini-map. That's pretty nice. How it sort of expands to show the places that you've explored. 
I like that a lot. Yeah, fine, I'll do that. Now, this series is going to end when my character does, which means it is very unlikely that I'm going to finish the game. Since I've... I haven't, uh, experienced much in the higher difficulties. I'm probably going to run into some kind of ridiculous trap that will kill me instantly or semi-instantly. My only hope is that I can at least make it entertaining. Also, a word of warning, or a few sentences of warning. And I thought I'd be a dead woman by now. Oh well, don't get ahead of yourself. When things get tense, I tend to stop talking. I have some trouble... Well, first of all, I have tr uh, trouble talking and playing difficult things at the same time. Especially when they're stressful things. Hello there. And since this game is stressful a lot of the time, especially in hardcore mode... <clears throat> well... There will be many times in this playthrough that I stay quiet. You have been warned. If that's not your thing. Well, I took my time, but even so, there was a boss fight, oh, I don't know, two minutes into the game? That, that's the sort of pacing I can get behind. Hey, why is this not opening? I, I already did that. Oh, it's making me spend my passive skill point first. Right, so I need to decide something right away, which is between uh, an offensive first few levels or defensive. I'm gonna go with offense because it leads to some skills that I happen to find very useful early on. Hopefully, I haven't ruined my character already. So I'm definitely going to go with an elemental build, I just haven't decided on the specifics just yet. I might have to experiment with a few different spells to see what I like. I saw what you did to Hillock out there, witch. Black art is the reason you're here, in exile. It may also be the only thing that allows you to see another door. I'm Nessa, and I suppose I should so thank you for ridding us of that putrid giant. Oh, yeah. Back in Aureus, I judged your kind without hesitation. In Rayclast, I don't have that luxury. Nice to meet you, too. Fire's watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here. Or you live. You know what? I think I've heard enough of that. Well then. This is the first town and, well, it is roughly as fancy as most of the towns you're going to find in this game. There's the traders. My, for those who are not familiar with this game... Fine work with Hillock. Oh. Yes, the reward for making it to the first town. And you know what? I see at least a couple of spells that I'm already not familiar with. Oh, I get, I get chaos spells this time. I'll probably end up trying all of these spells. You know, maybe I'll try fire. 
Might as well go with what I already have, kind of. Stay sharp out there. Well then, you don't buy things with gold because there isn't any. I mean, first of all, what would you do with it? And second of all, look around. It's all barter in this game. I, I'm i going to stop the recording right here and sort of go over these options. I'll be back in just a moment. Hello, I'm back. This is the skill tree. Well, more like the skill web. All of these things have passive effects. Some of them have very significant passive effects. I think I've decided where I want to go with this. I'd like to specialize in fire. Um, it's not the most creative thing, but I think I can make it work. I'll try to go for the obvious fire nodes first, and then maybe go for crit. Depends on what I get along the way. That's for attacking. As for surviving, well, that that's also extremely, extremely important, and I think I'm going to go with energy shield. However, I'm not going with chaos inoculation if I can avoid it. I'll, I'll explain chaos inoculation a little bit later, except that just now I'm going to say chaos damage is incredibly annoying. But I think I'm just going to have to endure it. I, I'm probably going to get Mind Over Matter to also help me survive. Maybe after I get crit I'll get Elemental Overlord, but... Overlord, yeah, right. Overload. But we'll, we'll see how things go once again. It's a little early for me to make <coughs> absolute concrete plans when I actually don't know very much about the current game. Well, we have a few things to do, so... Let's get started. I know the stench, just like my sisters upon the fire. Oh, that was pretty nice. Yes, I uh, think I can make some pretty good use out of this spell. Oh, that's also nice. Well then, about potions in this game. They aren't consumable items in the same way that they are in most games. You use them, they have a certain amount of um, drinks, and they recover as you kill things. Which means you can have it special enchanted flasks with all kinds of strange and interesting effects. I bartered a few of my identification scrolls for some starting gear. That blue shell over my life bar is my energy shield. It's well, it's thicker now. It's a lot like energy shields in the likes of Halo. I'm sure there's other games that you could think of for that sort of thing as well. Okay, so... This game is a little bit grindy. In the future, I'm almost certainly going to delete some of the more repetitive content. But for now, just for now, I'm gonna show all of the content. Oh, well. Oh, that is very unfriendly. So, that spell is Firestorm. I'd love to have it, but I can't get it just yet. That was a whole bunch of ghosts. 
Well. Khan's canoe struck this sand with the force of destiny. At his back, the greatest war host in Kardu history tamed the wild sea, their canoes coupling with the land one by one. Lion-eyed gemlings met us with shining metal and bold words. Hyri's arrows withered their pride. Khan's axes silenced their despair. Shut up, skeleton. I'm reading this. Fought bravely to the last. Calm. Honored him with a place on his belt. Calm has shown Rayclast our Kardui strength. Calm will teach Rayclast the Kardui way. I'm sure nothing but good things will happen to these people. Now it seems a little unwise to s specialize in one element considering that elemental resistances are with absolutely a thing in this game. There are ways to work around that. Hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that pretty well. Hello. It's a little early for a waypoint, isn't it? Well, our first mini quest, or I guess I could call it a full fledged quest, is to go this way and pick up a medicine chest. Because while healing flasks are nice, they are charged up by killing things and not everyone is up to that. By the way, if you get tired of watching similar attacks over and over from a player character, this might not be the playthrough for you. Why the zombies and cannibals are ignoring each other, I'm not sure. I know it's actually cause video game. Whatever. I hope I can find another flask of something. Oh, my first orb. Not very valuable. But whatever, I'll figure out something. One thing I appreciate about this is that enemies don't respawn unless uh, you actively restart the instance or you travel several instances away or something like that. I mention this because I'd been playing a bit of Borderlands 2 and the respawning enemies there caused a lot of annoyance. A lot. Oh, those don't resist fire. That's nice. Hold on, no time to... Oh, hello. Hello, Hailrake. Well, Hailrake has quite a history to him. It used to be that he cast Ice Spear. Oh, his club hits reasonably hard too. But the reason that Ice Spear was scary is that this spell has an extra chance, a substantial extra chance, of 
landing a critical hit if it travels far enough. And critical ice hits will freeze a character. Which in turn could lead, which means you stand in place in line for more critical hits and more freezing and it was just a very unfriendly early battle to encounter. I thought I'd give the game character but apparently they felt that it was overkill. Well, whatever. Quest complete. Might as well kill the rest of these things. Oh, I should mention that only cannibals have that um, ghost rising thing. I wonder if eating other people makes them absorb their spirits or something. Two days in, and someone's already level 87. Yeah, I know some people don't really sleep, so not too surprising. I'd almost stop believing in miracles. This medicine chest, it's greater than the serums themselves it holds. It tells us that we can do more in Ray class than merely suffer. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take the Quicksilver Flask because. Mobility is incredibly important. Goodbye. So, you managed to salvage Shaky Hands druggily. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that, be numbed quack off the dividend. Despite being kind of unhinged, Bestel is quite eloquent and he has good knowledge of this place's history as well. I'm I'm fairly interested in that character, even though there's not much to him after Act One. Got a job for you, if you're willing. There's a pool near the mud flats needs investigating. You'll smell it before you see it. Farewell. Yes. Oh. Uh, I should go over a little bit of the game's history while I can. NPCs usually sell the gems that they offer as a reward. As you saw when I just came in, I had a choice of one of three or four. Actually it was five, but, but anyway. And it used to be that after that, that was it. Um, you would have to find or buy the others if you wanted them. Of course, what actually happened is that people just reached the point of the game where they there were a lot of nice gems to choose from. Pick one, put it in the stash, then make a new character and run through the game until they had gotten all of the nice things that they had to choose between. So they add the shop where you can just buy them instead. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, that should work. Cast speed is also quite nice. Although, there is a drawback of requiring the mana to support it. I should be able to find tools for that later. Oh, this is probably the special feature. Uh, I misclicked and didn't quite resolve that special feature. Immune to damage, huh? Oh, I, I probably damage it by destroying the monsters that summon. Also, nice symbols. 
Yep, that did it. Alchemy shards. Very nice. You, you get out of the way. I don't know what orbs of binding are. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Oh, looks like someone else just ran into the same issue I did. I'm kind of happy that I figured it out myself. I'm probably gonna be pretty tired of zombies by Act 6 or so. Well, either that or I'll wish I was just fighting zombies again. Not quite sure. Oh, an exclamation point. Catchy. Ooh. And I probably should have equipped my Quicksilver Flash before as well. That's so how it goes. I do kind of like bowling for zombies, though. It has a certain appeal to it. Say what? Oh. Oh. Those jokes on the general chat, though. Fun stuff. There we go. You need to go away. They don't look too appetizing, but those rows are mostly what the people in the first town uh, eat to survive. Tarclay does. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put it that way. No, not even a little. I also like the flavor text for a lot of the key items in this game. There's not much text, but it was written well, I think. Powerful crits? Hoo <laughs> hoo. Okay. I do not want to take a powerful crit. <laughs> There's nothing I can do with this yet. The exclamation point led me astray. Which means more exploring. Oh, hello there. I remember you. I see you haven't changed much. So you take damage that pierces your energy shield just from being next to that one. Lovely. That's what chaos damage does, ladies and gentlemen. That is why some people take extreme measures to... Wow, wow. To not uh, have to deal with it. Go away. That That's the opposite of going away. Thank you. Okay, so someone just talked to me, but I have no time for that right now. Uh, 
Black storms descend on us from the north. Unnatural. Yeah, that that sounds like the logical second part of what's going on. Uh... Yes, I call you warrior. Your eyes have already swept your surroundings, identifying threats and escape routes. There is anticipation in your stance, deadly focus in the easy ebb and tide of your breath. Yours is a heart that fights with every beat. I have need of a heart like that. In that haunted place there. Oh, that is extremely rude. So, this is an NPC quest. They show up randomly and, oh, I know what that is. Anyway, let's, uh, let's try this out. Let's try this out right after I put another passive in there. Well, this looks a little forbidding, doesn't it? Perhaps attracting this many of them at once was a mistake. Wow. At least I didn't step on any of the traps yet. Well, this um, mini quest has no special tricks to it, but that's gonna change as I gain more favor with that NPC. They'll start to get time limits, there'll be more nasty tricks and traps, bad things will happen when I carry the spirit out. Well, that might happen uh, anyway. Oh, hi. That was unexpected. First things first. Yeah, I don't recall them being quite this aggressive in the early game. But hey, we we uh, we play this game to encounter new things, right? Too much clutter. No kidding. Returned to feast with the ancestors and be born once more into the Karui way. We shall speak again when next you come to Lion Eyes Watch. For there is much that we might yet share, my ally.
Well, that that could have ended the series very quickly. I think I think I'm gonna need a break after this, even though it's extremely early in the game. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll look at least for that third little quest thing because at least the monsters around here are not too terribly bad. Except, of course, for that uh, map boss, but that's already dealt with. So, that, that is a shrine. Shrines are not cuddly, but you have to cuddle up to them anyway if you want the bonus that they're currently spouting at you. It is a particularly Path of Exile kind of thing. If you want the really nice bonus that it gives, you have to first De deal with the shrine helping your monsters with the exact same sort of thing. Halitosis Glyph? Yummy. Of course, I forgot to look at the flavor text of those things I just picked up. Oh well. Having opened the way forward, I, I think that's a good place to cut off this first video. Later, everyone.